and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I have a really, really exciting video, which is going to be reviewing the controversial knockoff world traveler outfits from My Life As. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, American Girl released, I don't know, maybe like two years ago, the World Traveler Collection. And it was very, very popular. So popular that Walmart, or My Life As doll brand, decided they were going to copy it with some pieces that were very, very similar. So I'm not sponsored, and I've never been sponsored on this channel, so nobody's paying me to say anything. Um, but I wanted to review this because the World Traveler Collection is one of my favorite collections from American Girl. I only have one outfit from the collection, uh, but I wanted more, but they all sold out before I could get them. So when I went into Walmart yesterday and I saw that they had the knockoff versions, which I've been looking out for for maybe about a year now, I have wanted them so I could review them for a video. And I found them and I thought, I gotta get them. I gotta get them and I gotta review them. So. That's what we're doing today. So this is the World Traveler outfit that I have from American Girl. I do really want the Paris one. However, the Paris one is currently sold out from Indigo, which is where I can get the American Girl merchandise as a Canadian. So I was able to get the World Traveler Ireland outfit, but not the World Traveler France outfit. So this is the only one I have right now, even though I really, really want the France one. I'm gonna show this outfit more in detail, but just so you know, it doesn't come with the cross or the hair bow. I just added those because I think Nelly looks really cute in them. And let's move on to what the My Life As outfits look like on the hangers, and then I'm gonna show you what they look like on dolls. So, first I'm gonna show you, I guess, the Ireland outfit, which they call the green and white outfit, but once you see it, you're gonna know that they, you know, knocked it off the Ireland outfit. And it's this dress right here. So as you can see, you get this green kind of cardigan, the shamrock kind of t-shirt. Well, it's not a t-shirt, it's more like a tank top. A plaid skirt with a matching headband. This is really cute. I'm definitely gonna use the pieces in other outfits. Like the skirt is just absolutely adorable. Uh, reminds me kind of of Dairy Girls, if you've ever seen that show. So, so cute. I, I like this one a lot. I like the pieces of it. I mean, it's a little bit of a difficult area of it being a direct copy, but I thought, hey, let's, I bought them for educational purposes for this video. So even though it's a knockoff, I thought it would entertain and educate some people. Next we have the knockoff of the World Traveler France outfit, and this one's called the pink and black outfit. But as you can see, it is very much like the World Traveler France outfit. Has this kind of, you know, um, plaid, it's not plaid, it's kind of like a woven, uh, pink skirt, then Eiffel Towers all over it, this pink collar, and this beret looking thing. Feels very cheap, ma cheaply made beret, but I felt like they cheaped out on other areas because the World Traveler outfits from American Girl have a lot of pieces, so they were trying to, you know, um, cheap out because they wouldn't normally include all these accessories. Third outfit, which is another knockoff of the American Girl one, is the World Traveler England outfit. So this one's a little bit different because unlike the World Traveler England outfit, it doesn't come with the bag. The bag comes with the accessories and then it doesn't have this jacket. And this one would be a cute dress. I think like a, I got it because it kind of looks like a Christmas dress. Well, I got it originally because I wanted to make this video, you know, talking for educational purposes about the knockoffs of these outfits. Um, this one would make a cute Christmas dress, I think. So with like the gold collar. So um, I'm definitely gonna use these outfits after this video. So this would be a good Christmas outfit. So the final outfit I got is not a knockoff of anything American Girl has created as far as I'm aware, but when I saw it, I just thought it was so cute. And for like just the affordable price, these were like $12 each. So um, I decided to get this one. People were, I think we're calling this the Russian outfit, which if you actually look at the name of it, it's the blue and white outfit. Um, so I'm, maybe it's inspired by Russia. People were calling this outfit controversial because you know, with the, you know, war in Ukraine right now, and why would my life as make a Russian inspired outfit during this time? Um, but this outfit doesn't say Russian at all. It just says the blue and white outfit. So if you're looking for it, just type in my life as blue and white outfit. Um, I don't know if this was inspired by Russian fashion, 
um, but I have seen some controversy online surrounding this outfit, but it doesn't say Russian anywhere on it. Originally I thought it was a coat, but I think it's just a dress that's just blue and white with some fur, so, um, it, because as you can see, there's not, it like Velcro's in the back here, but not all the way down, so it's not like a coat, like I thought it was, it's like a dress, but I'm thinking about maybe cutting it in the back and then making it a coat, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it as a dress because maybe it won't be like big enough to be a coat. So here's what all the girls look like in their outfits. So we have Caroline in the blue and white outfit. Um, then we have Nenea in the Ireland inspired outfit. I think it was called like the green and white outfit. Then we have uh, Clara in the pink and black outfit. And then we have um, Claudie in the black and red outfit. So this is kind of like an overview of what they all look like. One thing I did notice is that the hats fit really well. I thought the hats were going to be super duper tight, um, but they were really good. They fit on really nicely as you can see, like they, they just rest on the head. Um, they're not like secure, like they're not going to, they might like fall off, but um, getting them on was super easy. But let's first compare the two Ireland outfits, the real American Girl version versus the the knockoff. So here's the two Ireland outfits side by side. So the one Nellie is wearing is the real authentic American Girl version and the My Life As outfit is on Nenea. So first an overview of Nellie's outfit. We have this really nice knit sweater with buttons, a graphic t-shirt which says Ireland and has some designs like a harp and some shamrocks and a horseshoe and like a little pass, not a passport, um, what is it called? Like a stamp, like a postage stamp. And then we have a plaid skirt, some yellow leggings, and some brown boots. Overall, I really do like this outfit. One of my favorite outfits from American Girl. Moving on to Nenea, her outfit comes with a headband, which the American Girl one does not. So Nenea's sweater is just like a thin material, a thin green cardigan with a tank top with two shamrocks and two hearts. Then we have the skirt here, and as you can tell, it's a lot busier of a pattern than the American Girl one, and it does not come with leggings or shoes, but I just put on these kind of generic Converse looking shoes. Now the next outfit is one that I wish that I had a comparison with. I do really want this version of the outfit from American Girl, but I don't have it yet. Um, the hat is interesting. It does not look like a beret, but at least it fits on properly and the color matches the collar and the buttons. So at least it goes with the outfit. It doesn't really feel like a beret though. Then next she has a pink collared shirt with Eiffel Towers that is black with pink buttons. This material is pretty good material for my life as um, it's it's a higher quality than what I'm used to with them. Same thing with the skirt. The skirt is still, you know, cheaper than like what American Girl would do. And I don't have a feeling it would last for years and years and years like American Girl products would, but it is a very cute material and would last, you know, a couple years of play. The outfit also has these little buttons which has little stars on them and they're just, you know, made out of uh, metal. And the outfit, unlike the American Girl one, doesn't come with shoes so I just put on these Maple Leaf boots. The American Girl outfit comes with pink tights and some black flats with hearts on them. So it doesn't have all the pieces that the American Girl one has. But overall, I do like this one for the price. It is pretty good. I don't know how I feel because it feels like an exact copy of the American Girl one, which doesn't feel too honest and genuine, but if you want like an alternative, if you really can't get the American Girl one, then I guess it is a pretty good alternative. Next we have Claudie in the England outfit, and the England outfit um, normally comes with uh, black socks and black boots, like black shiny boots. I think they're black, or maybe they're like blue or something, I can't quite remember, but it does come with shoes and it does come with a red hat. This outfit doesn't come with a hat or socks or boots. It just comes with this red plaid dress and this gray vest. And I do like how the color is sparkly and definitely gonna be a good Christmas dress for when Christmas rolls around. And it does come with a little England bag. So this one does feel a little bit different from the American Girl version, not like the Paris outfit, which the Paris outfit feels like exactly the same. This one's a little bit different because it has a vest and it comes with a bag. So um, this one 
is pretty cute. Next we have Caroline in the blue and white outfit, which people were calling the Russian outfit, um, even though I, I, it's not titled that, at least not in Canada. I mean, maybe in the States they gave them different names and things like that, but Canada is just based off of the color. And this white hat is gonna be really nice for the winter time. Um, definitely would go with a lot of coat outfits. It does fit on really nicely. Um, I do wish it was a jacket instead of a dress, but it's still pretty cute. It, the only criticism I have is that it is a bit short, but then again, it's only $12, so it's a pretty good price. Again, it has the exact same metal buttons that were on the World um, the Paris outfit, um, and it has like the same stars, except for these ones are silver instead of gold. These are not working pockets, they're just kind of like fake pockets there, uh, but it is really stylish, so I do like them. It does have a nice material, um, a little bit kind of like waterproof, I guess, so it's like kind of like a coat in that way. But overall, I just got this outfit because I thought it was so, so cute, um, especially for the price. So even though it's not knocking off any of the American Girl outfits, I did think it was pretty cute and I thought I would show it because I did really like this one. So that has been all the My Life As versions of the World Traveler outfits. Make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know which one is your favorite and make sure to subscribe for more doll collecting videos and I'll see you all next time.